Hey guys, Bill Simatel from the BBZ TV up at Great Bear Lake in the Arctic Circle at Plumber's Lodges. Here with my buddy Derek Stewart. Hey. I'm going to show you something old school. We just found some pike. Derek busted a 20 pounder. We found an outside lip and it, they're going down in about 20 foot of water. We're catching them on the 6 inch BBZ. I'm going to show you something that I used to do years ago. We got cloud cover coming in. Weather's changing. This is tube time. This is one of my old school um, Lindy Tiger tubes I designed. Um, before that, Pete Cormier, Pete Cormier and myself uh, designed uh, the big monster tubes, the Deadly Duo tubes back in the early 90s. Right now, people are looking for these tubes. They're really hard to find. They don't even make them anymore from Lindy. But if you go to icebikeit.com, they're going to have equipment. They're going to have the dowels, the tubes, and everything, the pots, to pour and make your own baits, especially the tubes. But uh, this is one old school one. I'm going to set it up real quick. We're going to come over here. I'm going to catch a big pike on it and show you how it works. Okay, guys, what we got is uh, we got a cousin's rod, the 8-foot rod, um, Shimano 400. And I got 65-pound Maxima braid. We're going to do a quick knot on 150-pound wire because I do not want them taking my tubes. They're too valuable. Get out there clip there's that there we go and we got to make sure that we're barbless and we're going to make sure these barbs which they already smashed down but we're going to smash them down even more for these pike you can actually hear them cracking in there there you go. Let's go over and catch tube fish. That tube is a that's an oldie but a goodie. This is a this is one of the tubes I designed with Pete Cormier. This is pre Lindy, so this is 90s. Wow. You know, 89, 90. The color looks so great. Yeah, wow. I'm gonna just let it go down real slow. The biggest thing on a tube when you when you pop it, pop it, rip it, whatever you want to do. You got to be real cautious on slack line. You don't want that tube to come forward over the line and then get foul hooked and then you, you miss out a lot of op opportunities for catching fish. If you don't expand your mind and especially build on good areas, build out from them and around, you, you might have a good spot there where you catch a 20 but there might be you know 10 more 20s 50 yards out on a high spot or something so okay best way on tube fishing I definitely like throwing with the wind so we're gonna uh, Put the mercury in reverse, go upwind. That way I can throw with the wind. Hopefully not foul hook that stinger hook. If we do the stinger hook too many times, we'll definitely change it. And it's pop, rip, and just make sure you keep up your line. When you pop it, reel down, and keep that line tight. That way you don't foul hook as much. You can do a small little hops like this you could do big ones but you got to reel down on it then also you can let it go right to the bottom and just hop it real nice and slow across the bottom we're gonna there we go just like that first cast first cast first cast let it go to the bottom and I don't know how big this is but it feels pretty good There's the first fish on the tube. Oh God, that thing has some. Gets it stuck underneath the boat. Oh. First cast with the tube. Nice. So that was just uh, hopping it on the bottom. We're going to take our time. That back treble hook is uh, barbless. So we're going to go real nice and s slow with Derek so this, this thing doesn't get too crazy. And if you can get it one shot, it should pop right out. There you go. There's your master class on tube fishing, boys. Okay, guys, that was it. Real simple. First cast. 
the uh, this is an eight inch tiger tube I designed years ago but like I said if uh, you want to build your own tube make sure you check out icebikeit.com um, you can make them from six inches to twelve inches whatever size you want whatever colors they also have paints you can hand paint them so some pretty cool stuff and that was it man so uh, we're gonna go out and we're gonna start playing around and doing some more stuff